You want to say that again? <laughs> I do it for the motherfucking rat. I do it for the ratchets. <laughs> you remember that song? <laughs> no, who's song that shit? That's a tiger song. The dollar's at. Tell me where the dollar's at. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That nigga was making every all them sounds that sounded like Rack City. Yeah, pretty much. Every song was Rack City remix. <laughs> ma, 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 what the fuck it do, broski? It's your man, man, David, on the motherfucking mic. And my DJ, DJ, baby mama, on the ones and twos, fool. What's good, fools? You know what I mean? We in this thing. Finna hit y'all with some back to <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> Finna hit y'all with some back to school shopping hacks, broski. You know what I mean? We finna uh gear it up, get ready for this back to school shopping thing. I already know y'all thinking, Broski, do not end my summer. Fuck that back to school shit. I am not ready. Trust me. I know how you feel. But you gotta be ready, unfortunately, fam. And we're gonna be fly as fuck. We're gonna do this shit the right way. You feel me? Yeah. So, bam. Coming with the first hack and the very, very, very important key to when you're going back to school shopping. You know what I mean? And this for if you're not doing the uniforms and if you could go back to school and whatever you want to because we don't know how it is in your area. Some places do uniforms. Some places let you rock out. Right here in Virginia Beach, little Tiki Bees get to wear whatever she want to. So, you know what I mean? Of course, she gonna be strapped, but what you want to do first is identify your style. You know what I mean? Pick out how you want to do this shit. You do not want to look like everybody else going back to school. You want to stand out. Or you want to be in the cut and not stand out. You see what I'm saying? Any tips on how they would do that? Um, Don't follow what everybody else is wearing. That's how you pick out your own style. Figure out what you like. Don't like it because your favorite rapper got it on. ASAP Rocky be fresh or whatever, but I ain't trying to dress like that nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, he looks dope in his own way, so you figure out how to look dope in your own way. Yeah, man. And your style is whatever you feel comfortable in, whatever you feel confident in. So yeah. it's all about confidence at the end of the day. Yeah, and if man. you are the type of person that like to dress off the mannequin, if that is your shit, then you snatch those clothes off that mannequin and you wear that. I'm not telling man. you not to do that. Yeah, man, if you really don't care for clothes like that, man, you see something that you like on somebody and you think that it will look nice on you, go for it, bro, because it ain't no rules to this shit, yeah. really, for real. But the thing is, what look good on everybody else might not look good on you, fam. Just because that man got no shoes on his feet don't mean they're going to look good on yours. So, you know what I mean? That's why it's very, very important to find your own style. Once you do that, that's probably going to come with finding the brands that you're going to wear and the places that you want to shop from. And once you find those, you fill out for the motherfucking newsletters. You get them coupons coming. Damn near everybody got 20% off back to school shopping sales going on right now. Um, I know Nike.com got one. Jimmy Jazz got one. And Bill got one, and they got they got the up tempos on their site, the Pippin joints for twenty percent off right now. So, you know what I mean? I would definitely hop on that. Definitely a good look. You know Coupons I mean? for the discounts and everything, like you said. Check out your local, whatever state you live in. See when y'all tax free weekend is, yeah. so you can go ham. Like sometimes taxing. It charge you up your price like a whole whole bunch. Yeah. So you go shopping for tax free weekend, you can get your school supplies and get you some fresh ass clothes. <laughs> yeah. Also, use like some of the benefits that y'all have to your advantage. Like a lot of places that do discounts for students. Mm -hmm. So if you got a student ID, you can get a discount for something like that. Yeah. If you are a child of somebody that's in the military, you a military dependent, you got that little raggedy ass pink card, if you know what I'm talking about. You a military dependent, that count is a military discount. And that's like 10% off of hey, whatever man. sales you already got. So just use what you got. Don't ask be scared them. to ask for them yeah, discounts, don't be, man. Don't yeah, be scared don't be to scared. ask. Like, you ask. know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely run up them discounts, broski. Because that's going to take you. Y'all hey, see my little notepad. That's why I'm looking down. My broski's already know we got the notepad out. That's a banger. That take you, you know what I mean, right to my next point. And don't rely on social media and YouTube to find your sense of style and find these deals and find these steals. The point is, you gotta be on it, bro. Just be on it, be on top of your fashion. Like, 
If you leave it up to your mom and dad to dress you, <laughs> you gonna look how your mom and dad dress you, and you probably got picked on all through uh, elementary and middle school for that shit. So have some now, and a bow tie. yeah, now is the time to take matters into your own hand, fam. On your swag, kill the ass out like there. You know what I mean? Another hat, back to school shopping hat. Do not be afraid to recycle. You know what I mean? Mixing the old with the new. Taking in the old and turning it into new. You know what I mean? Whether that be in your closet, Mom Duke's closet, Big Bro closet, somebody up crawl somebody else closet in the thrift store or some shit. You know what I mean? Go thrift and go get them little four dollar, five dollar shirts, chop them shits up, get get a sharpie. Whatever you gonna do, make it your own, make it new. I'm waiting on you to tag me out here. Oh, okay. But nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stumbling on too many words. But yeah, like yeah, you man. said, wear, wear what you wanna wear. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to recycle. And if you like, you all about your your footprint in the world, for y'all that's like all green conscious and stuff like that, the thrift store is where it's at. It's recycled clothes. You're not hurting the earth. Mm-hmm. Get you some recycled clothes. And if you're recycling out your closet, out your mother closet, out your aunt closet, or whoever, chop it up, turn it into something new. That's what I used to do when I was in school. My mother, like, everybody at some point in their life felt like they was fresh as fuck when they was young. Mm-hmm. My mama thought she was doing it. She had her little asymmetrical cut with them damn dookie earrings. And she always did that pose or whatever outfit she had on. And do that pose where you been over with your little friends. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all parents were dressing like that, they thought they was fresh as fuck. Everything recycles. Everything always comes back. So it's going to be something in their closet that you going to think is hot. It might not be the pants or something like that, but it's going to be some piece that you be like, yo, let me get this. Don't be afraid to go. It's like, mom, let me get this. Dad, let me, what's up? Let me get that. Blah, blah, blah. I used don't to go bar. Let's take that shit. I ain't thinking about it. No, don't do that. Because don't fuck <laughs> around and get punched in your shit. Yeah, for cutting up Stealing out your shit. parents' closet. Because <laughs> if I would have went in my mother's closet and just be like, oh, I'm going to go snatch this shit and I say something, she going to punch me in my shit. So, no. X, okay, don't do that. And like, just like, you know, go in there, get your stuff, cut it up, yeah. look dope with it. As far as with dudes, it's like, you know what I mean? I know y'all want, might want to get fresh and shit, so... I would say just be download the restock app because they restock on all that high pricey ass name brand shit. And if you can afford it, you can stay in the loop that way. Or download. Well, I don't even think Grail got an Android app. They might have a, a iPhone app, but I know Grail.com, the website, they definitely be having. Um, it's like eBay for hype beast shit, pretty much. Yeah, Grail is just hype beast eBay. So you get on there, you know what I mean? Prices go up and down. You might find some shit below retail. It might be slightly above, but that way to get you, you know what I mean? Your your, your hype beast fashion on, that one will work for you too. If you don't want to uh, do the second hand rap, you know what I mean? Or the DIY rap, but shit, I fucks with the DIY rap. Well, where would you shit. tell them to go shopping at then? Like where they can... Because you already said the place where they can get the coupons at. Like, where would still be some like some hot stores and it's still cheap? I'm talking about that they can walk into. Walk into? Um, I don't, I mean, boutiques. Boutiques carry, you going to have to sneak a consignment shop some boutiques. Like, round two VAs and the, but, I mean, these places are not widely available. That's why I'm mentioning more or less online okay, places. Because yeah. I don't know what it's like in y'all new city. You see what I'm saying? And then, too, that's the perfect setup for the sneaker buying section of it. Because I know a lot of y'all going to be buying kicks online. like, And I know, like, you know what I mean? A lot of y'all who watch me may shop online for sneakers. So some sneaker hacks for your back to school sneaker shopping. You know what I mean? I get a lot of um, I get a lot of questions on sizing information. And I really hate to give out sizing information. Because I got these big ass, fat, flat, wide, Fred Flintstone feet that are not normal, and no normal human being should be allowed to walk around with these shits that I got. So I don't like giving y'all information on how my shoes fit me, because I know some people may have the longer, narrow feet. Some people may just have normal feet. You did. Everybody foot different, and you know what I mean? Shoes are cut very different, like basketball shoes cut different from the runners. Your true size, and the Jordan may not be the same in the phone posit on top of how your foot is built 
So, sizing information hard. But what you can do, before you go buy them fucking sub tempos, you can go try on um, the air more up tempo that's in a regular colorway. That's not this exclusive ass collab. You see what I'm saying? So you save up the money for the car, the cost for us, but you don't want to goddamn jump out there and get the wrong size. Go in the mall, try on the pure money for us. Like, oh, okay, I need this size. Then you can order your cows for us on the right side. You see what I'm saying? Along with all the other shit, like we told you with the clothes and, you know what I mean, newsletters and signing up for, uh, like, the Winter Circle and all their reward programs. Make sure you sign up for all the reward programs. When you spend X amount of money, they give you $20 back on a $100 purchase or 10 on a $50 purchase and so-and-so. And, you know what I mean? Your birthday, you might get a $20 coupon. So, you know what I mean? Just... Sign up with these places and, and like I said with the clothes too, be on it. You gotta be on the sneakers just like you would be on your clothes. And hell, yeah, that's how y'all find me. Y'all were probably on y'all shit one day trying to figure out how to kill these boys that can't cross a cool ass player like young David with his motherfucking sex ass uh ladies. You know what you make me crazy, girl. Come on, girl. You talking about some of that fly ass, play ass nigga like me and goddamn. <laughs> but that's how this shit go, you know what I'm saying? Some old back to school shopping hacks. You know what I mean? How would you hit them back to school? If you were going back to school right now and like like versus you how you actually went back to school, a first day outfit versus how you would do it right now. Okay. Right now, if I was going back to school, my perfect outfit would be for real, for real, I would probably throw in some cheap, like some Pumas or mm. some Adidas. Cause they cheap and like being realistic. I'm snapping right now. Yeah, too. they are. Like yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to a, a sneaker list, a back to school yeah. sneaker list, and all that shit. But Pumas really yeah. got some nice shit. And it's really inexpensive. Yeah, and like, like them shit for me. Them yeah. on oh. And for me to honestly say that this is what I'm gonna be wearing back to school. Nine times out of ten, I will have a job for the summer. So this right. is my money that I'm gonna be spending. And I ain't out here trying to get no Supreme and get no damn <laughs> Right, you're gonna be trying to yeah, stretch and I'm a little bread. Trying to stretch it. Right. So I'm probably gonna hit up Fashion Nova, mm-hmm. give me some jeans, give me some high waisted jeans, you know, cut them up, show hey. my little shape, poke my little butt out so I can be cute, give me a little shirt, I'm gonna be out here, I'm a gonna little t shirt. Like, hey, girl, what's up? Oh, God, he gonna be yeah, by my locker trying to get, trying to take me out to Chipotle. I ain't I I'm gonna be get some guacamole. Oh. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, don't anyway. Damn, you we did fuck. this. I, yeah, I know. I fucked up that time. I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. So, okay. Probably some dope ass Pumas. I'll probably rock some Pumas more than I Pumas. get with these. Okay, we got the Pumas. We yeah. got the high waisted jeans. Some Pumas. Some high waisted, uh, light colored jeans mm-hmm. with the rips in them. Distress. I fucks with distress. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get me a crop top. Now, ladies, this is a trick. If you got school, like the dress code restrictions, Get you some high waisted jeans, and you can still wear your crop top because your your stomach and stuff is not out. So that's what I would wear the first day of school: a shirt. But I would probably make my crop top. It'll probably be like a t-shirt like this, that's but it has some shit on the top. Like I don't know, like it just say, "I love mob only." Shit. Yeah, mob only. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Get Dang, you we a got mob crop only. Tops. Yeah, get you a mob only t-shirt. Cut it. All you gotta do is cut it. You can draw a mob only on that motherfucker. Yeah, wear that. I can't wear no hats in school. I remember we couldn't wear hats in school. So I probably have me some dope ass braids in my hair, something you know, mm. keeping it cute with the natural style. Nails be on point. Yeah. Girls are wearing makeup nowadays, so I would probably be wearing makeup too. How did you? What was like one of your first day out of school? What was one of your real life first day now, of school? Now, Lil days? Nene. Damn. Well, Lil Nene would wear for the first day of school. Back in the day when I was going to school, probably either some J's or some Vans. Mm-hmm. I like the Vans. I had like the original pair of Vans, the little, the blue color. I had those. The baggiest pants that I could find that would not fall off my ass when I was walking down the hallway. <laughs> Old Navy always hooked me up with that. So I would always go to Old Navy and give me the baggiest pants that I could get with holes in it or I put them in it myself. A tight t shirt for River, y'all. I would steal t shirts from my little brother. Hey Trey, that's my boo. <laughs> but my little brother, like, I was smaller than, yeah, I was smaller than my little brother was like seven years old and I could fit his t shirts. So, whatever t shirts he didn't want, I would wear his t shirts and it'd be tight on me, you know, show my little shape off. And I was in a vest. So you got J's, a van, 
Yeah. Some baggy ass pants. Baggy as fuck. One of Trey t shirts. Yes, one of my little bro t shirts. <laughs> This is and our first. This is our yeah, first day. This is my first day like, in school. Real life. When this is real life. I'm pretty sure I got pictures <laughs> with one of my little bro t-shirts on right now. Oh from man, we're gonna find some and try to throw them yeah. in there somewhere. I was in the vest in high school, so I would have on a dope ass vest that I probably found in some ice store. store. Mm. And my hair, I would. I had perms. <laughs> little relaxing. bro shirt with the vest. Yeah, on. with and the vest on. What's happening? And I would. I had like perms, so I either had my hair like straight or I have it uh, like I have a little. A doobie in my head, a little doobie wrap, a roller wrap, whatever whichever one you call it. Or I had like some curls in my head, so I, cause I ain't wear like my hair was a natural fashion. And a Spider Man book bag to top it off. Ha. I fucked with Spider Man when I was in high school, so. So bang, yeah, I, I would hit him now, right? You know what I mean? I probably would, you know me, realistically. Would've been doing whatever the fuck I've been doing, get my little change to something, so I've been ready to hit these boys. I would have saved up my bread, hit grill. I really been in love with that ASAP Rocky and Guest collab. So I would have got me one of them striped sherbet teas with either the blue or the orange collar. You know what I mean? Some uh, some old army green. You know what I mean? Army green, olive green, or either the dark khaki. You know what I mean? Colored pants or joggers. Because I still rock joggers. That's what they talking about. You know what I mean? Jogger gang for life, my boy. And... And like the 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 black and white more air, the little black and white sub tempos. Not sub tempos but up tempos, more up tempos the pivot joint. Cause they versatile as shit. They will go in a lot and they comfortable as hell. And then me too, like I would have been like I see I'm seeing how everybody into the runners and everybody, you know what I mean, boots is king right now. So I'd have been trying to sneak go against the grain a little bit and stick with the basketball shoes. You know what I mean? Not really basketball shoes anymore. So, hell yeah. I'd have been definitely doing the black pants. And you be giving me a ride to school. Hell yeah. <laughs> and my brother called. And, <laughs> and the red CRX would have beaten the best. And you be and hanging out by my locker and stuff. But what I really what kind of want. Oh, Jan Sport. All okay. day, food. Gotta okay. have a Jan Sport if I don't get me no little Supreme. Leave in bread. the comment box down below what kind of book bag y'all got for back Hell school. Hell yeah. yeah. Cause I, I like book bags. We like book bags. So mm. whatever kind of backpack you got on, leave down below. I think any kind of book bag is dope. In the real life, you already know, niggas. A hot wet shit. Uh, Reebok, Reebok, uh, Allen Iverson. Uh, if not, one of my big bro J. You know what I mean? Baggage jeans I can find. Jabos, preferably. This is Lil Mo back when he. This was his. Yeah, I mean, had like, to for get, real. had to get me some bows and the goddamn in a shirt. With none less than two X's on it. The more X's, the better. Y'all already know how them shirts go, nigga. I'm talking about three X minimum on the T-shirt, bro. You know what I mean? White tee with probably whatever goddamn color striped your tee up under that one. And another shirt up under that one to match the kids. Because we were fucking thirsty like that. I don't know. Two XL? Three. Oh! Because it was like... Bro, you, you ain't got no... such a small man, though. Yeah, I was teen and shit. I was like 120, one, like 30 or something in school. Man, that's way smaller than what he at right now, so... Tall T. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Baby. Tall T. And then imagine when tall T is here. What the heck? Yeah, like nobody it. that went to school with me did that, but I've been told... Because y'all ain't had a young slime. Yeah, no. Too young. Boy, your shirt young and shit. Y'all ain't say that. That nigga shirt young, like... No, we would be like, that nigga, that boy, medium your, like you would still be that young ass get that T-shirt. Nah, the only way you... No, if your T-shirt ain't had no X on, that shit was too young, my boy. You got your little bro shirt on. But what you. was the thing with... Okay, if y'all would have told T, did y'all leave y'all stickers on there? I heard people did that. Like, you leave Nah, we left our stickers on, on hats. We left okay, we definitely okay. left the stickers on hats. Maybe on jerseys if it was like a Mitchell and Ness type shit. And yeah, baggy jeans. Remember, oh, boy, we used to wear the shit out pipes. Pipes was the shit. Lee's pipes, nigga. They were skater jeans and the fucking legs on them shits was baggy as hell. And I fucked around and found some elephant leg jeans, some elephant leg pipes. I lie to you not. I could fit like four of me in one leg. And I actually wore them shits to school, boy. Them shits was like. Man, like the leg on them pants is motherfucking as wide as the division on his lens, and I wore them shits. No fear, I ain't get no fuck. I won about twice though. I got fried both times. Oh! Fuck that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, but that's it, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I was not letting that shit ride, bro. I don't know what lead pipes are. Yeah, we wore pipes. They Ooh. had stripes going down, like there was regular jeans. 
They had stripes going down the side too. Like different color stripes. <laughs> yeah. going, hey man, pipes went hard, bro. Shout out to pipes, man. Hell yeah. Shout out that was that one put, you remember mud jeans? Yeah, I remember Cause I remember like the girls jeans. used to wear mud jeans with the motherfucking hand on the ass. Oh no, I ain't had no, no handprint on the ass. My yeah, mama see, them were the hot joints though too. But that was middle school though. Hell yeah, yeah, right about that time, girls were just You wear some mud butt. jeans to high school. What I was, your ass about to get roasted for the rest of the day and the boys gonna probably smack you in the ass all day. And like ruin your day, like it would be yeah. bad. Like so we just like not. straight up reminiscing at this point, yeah. man. We gonna wrap it up. I think this is a banger, yo. Hell yeah, this is a good one. Ma, y'all say y'all some money going back to school. That's just the moral of the shit. Be confident <laughs> going back. Yeah, to school, be confident. Y'all. Save you some bread, man, and and be on them books, cause everything else just ain't important. Next yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma, my family yours, bruh.